So you think the 21st century will be remembered for the big leaps in, bio in understanding and alleviation of biology? If you look at the path between discovery and therapeutics, it's been on the order of 50 years. It's been shortened to 40, 30, 20, and now it's on the order of 10 years. But the huge number of technologies that are going on right now for discovery will result undoubtedly in the most dramatic manipulation of human biology that we've ever seen in the history of humanity in the next few years. Do you think we might be able to cure some of the diseases that we started this conversation with? Absolutely, and absolutely. It's, it's only a matter of time. Basically the complexity is enormous and I don't want to underestimate the complexity, but the number of insights is unprecedented and the ability to manipulate is unprecedented and the ability to deliver these small molecules and other non-traditional medicine perturbations. There's a lot of sort of new, gen there's, a, there's a new generation of perturbations that you can use at the DNA level, at the RNA level, at the you know microRNA level, uh, at the epigenomic level. There's, there's a battery of new generations of perturbations. If you couple that with cell type identifiers that can basically sense when you are in the right cell based on the specific combination and then turn on that intervention for that cell. You can now think of combinatorial interventions where you can basically sort of feed a synthetic biology construct to someone that will basically do different things in different cells. So basically for cancer, this is one of the therapeutics that our collaborator Ron Weiss is using to basically start sort of engineering these circuits that will use microRNA sensors of the environment to sort of know if you're in a tumor cell or if you're in an immune cell or if you're in a stromal cell and so, and so forth, and basically turn on particular interventions there you can sort of create constructs that are tuned to only the liver cells or only the heart cells or only the you know, uh, you know, brain cells, and then have these new generations of therapeutics coupled with this immense amount of knowledge on the sort of which targets to choose and what biological processes to measure and how to intervene. My view is that disease is gonna be fundamentally altered and alleviated as we go forward.